Hey, this is night four of my solo meditation banana retreat. Um, this night has been challenging, I guess I can say. Um, totally forgot how tough these retreats are. You meditate a bunch of hours at home each day, but being alone, <laughs> solo for many nights, and this park is pretty empty too, is makes it kind of challenging because you're like, it's almost like you're stranded on an island. And now I'm eating bananas too only, so it seems like the apocalypse happened and a couple of us here on the island are left and surviving just off of bananas. Um, actually though, the banana part is the easy part. It's, it's the just being by yourself and doing everything alone is challenging as hell because um, you barely see anyone wherever you walk there's no one really there like uh, in cities we just get used to it but there's always people around right but here it's totally secluded and you're just by yourself, with yourself, so it's, it's pretty tough, but um, still had some good sits today, um, did probably like six hours of meditations, um, one of them I went back to my mystical tree, actually just like last year I had this urge to get naked again, there's just this like uh, liberating feeling when you just kind of take off all your clothes because it's kind of like weird and scary a little bit because what if people would be there but it's totally empty anyways but feels like after you do it like it was kind of challenging too because it's cold <laughs> so didn't really want to do it but just like what the hell um, if it helps let's do it so decided to do it and then just like this freeing feeling because we're always forced to wear clothes right in everyday life it's kind of like a barrier right um so when you're able to take them off just go beyond that you just feel free and it's kind of cool so that was nice um and I yeah, just had a bunch of other good sits like was able to zone in on the present moment totally just bask in that like empty silence like that just aliveness which is amazing just sit in there and just um, feel all the energy kind of surrounding me in the morning I also did this um, chakra opening meditation I've done that at home a lot of the times so just kind of like start becoming aware of the color and put your awareness onto the placement of each chakra like one by one from the bottom up and then also top down so just spend like a minute visualizing it opening up and the color that corresponds with each one. So start with the red, just go up, and then so on, right? All of them, all seven. And it feels like after you start doing it and then take some deep breaths through the spine, it just feels amazing. This energy surge kind of starts happening. So that was nice to start the day off of that in the tent um, and yeah other than that um, nothing crazy happened either it rained again most of the day and last night so didn't really sleep that good it was hitting the tarp kind of hard um, and then, yeah I, for the banana stuff and feeling great actually it's so nice um, 
not being distracted by food. Because last time when I came, it was just, I had so much food. It was just like, any time I was kind of bored, I would be eating. Now it's like, I don't do that because it's just bananas. I actually still feel like really good. I'm not even sick of them or anything. So that helps. And feel like good energy wise and hiking and stuff. So don't feel like tired or anything just because I'm eating bananas. So that's awesome. But yeah, so that's kind of like the recap of day four. One of the things I'm happy I bought these like. Um, these little hand warmer things and these things are, are amazing because it's just like nice to have some heat coming from somewhere because the wind is cold and it's weird because it's almost June but it's still and I'm by the water too so like um, the air is cooler but these help a lot so if you ever go somewhere and uh, you're going camping get some of these just in case because they help so much you put them inside your gloves too sometimes in your socks if you're getting cold or in your shoes and it feels amazing because <laughs> it's nice to be by the fire but it's still cold kind of sometimes so but yeah that's the tip anyways uh see you tomorrow peace out